Hello, my name is Vincent Brom. I am the product manager for special processes at SCAN. With more than 900 employees worldwide, SCAN is the market leader in the area of aseptic isolators, working with all the well-known filling line suppliers. We are also providing standalone aseptic isolator or containment solutions for many applications in the pharmaceutical industry. And we are providing complete solutions also with embedded and integrated processes in the isolators. Here is a nice example of what our process engineers have developed in our subsidiary aseptic technologies in Belgium. The Crystal L1 robot line is designed to perform automatically CGMP aseptic filling of high-value drug products in closed vials. Or here, the Viosys equipment we have developed with our partners, whereby Schreuble managed to integrate two robots in a compact isolator. In all these applications where automated systems are required, robotic is a trend, or even a must. And inside isolators, the robot is even more keen, as it is a good tool to improve sterility insurance, helping to avoid the use of gloves, for instance. Of course, the integration of robots in aseptic environments needs a lot of precautions, and there are cases where conventional automated systems are preferred over six or seven access robots. These depend on the space, the accessibility, the task to automate, and of course, the level of investment. But let me demonstrate you this through different examples. For the first example, you may have already seen or heard about the equipment SCAN has developed for the automatic dispensing of aluminium cans under aseptic conditions. With our expertise and by working with the right partners, with a good understanding of the process and the customer's needs, SCAN can provide such solutions where you will have no human interventions in the isolators during production. Again, human intervention in the isolator via the glove port is probably the weakest point for the sterility insurance. And that's where automation and robotics can help a lot. In the following video, the glove port are only included for the preparation. The production is completely automated and the result is that it can process six cans in 30 minutes. Another advantage of automation and robotics is the support for the operator with repetitive or heavy tasks. Try to imagine executing all these automated manipulations without robotics. Could you imagine to manipulate these cans the whole day with the gloves in the isolator 40 times a day to remove with the gloves the lid? Could be really a nightmare, isn't it? But sometimes manipulating heavy features need big robots and the implementation in an aseptic isolator can also become tricky and expensive. So we are always challenged to find the right level of automation and the right actuator in order to provide a robust process, to guarantee the aseptic condition and, of course, to always fulfill the requirements of the pharmaceutical authorities. Let's have a look at what happened up from the dispensing equipment I just showed you. Here we have an equipment which is for the production of active pharmaceutical ingredients. In other words, this is for the filling and dosing of the API in these aluminium bins. It is for powder handling under aseptic condition, so it is an aseptic toxic equipment. Also, the containers can be replaced by plastic bags or endless liners. But here, as you will see, it is an automated system and there is no robot. 
I am here with Matthias Zwick, he is the project manager of this equipment. Hello Matthias. Hello Vincent. Matthias, can you explain us a bit about your project and why there is no robot here? Yes, of course. Let's have a look. Yeah, sure. Here an operator brings several containers into the isolator through an airlock, which has a deco cycle of less than 30 minutes. Then you can manually transfer the containers into the main chamber through a mouse hole, which is located here. Once the containers are transferred into the storage area, the operator leaves the machine to perform the dosing, like shown in the next video. Once the dosing is finished and the container is closed, the operator can bring it out of the isolator through the second airlock. Here at the start of the project, we had to find the right geometry of the isolator to fit inside the building. It all started from the buffer, which is also provided by SCAN, which needs to be located above the isolator in the final installation. Then there are several tasks that need to be done before and after the dosing. And also, we wanted to have the possibility to fill in a bigger vessel directly positioned under the isolator. So finally, the height of the septic chamber was not really compatible with a big robot able to handle the heavy cans. And several robots would have cost too much for sure. Thank you, Matthias. That's a nice analysis and a very impressive project, I have to say. So congratulations. When we talk about automated processes and robotics in isolators, we need to go one step further in autonomous systems. And in this field, there is another function that needs to be considered as well, the cleaning. It's important to understand how we can efficiently remove the toxic products in the isolator, for instance, before we open the door and access the equipment, or how we can avoid cross-contamination. Now, I am here with Christoph Geiser. He is project engineer in our development team. Hi, Christoph. Hi, Vincent. Christoph, can you explain us what you are working on and how is your work helping our customers? Yes, of course. We are here in the SCAN development department for automated systems. And here, for example, we are working on an autonomous cleaning system that will fully rinse the whole isolator and the embedded process equipment without any human intervention. We are testing the washability of the complete equipment. For that, we use fluorescent substances to visualize the washing efficiency. Let's have a look how it works. So first, we take the riboflavin to spray it over all the surfaces. This fluorescent substance visualizes the potentially contaminated surfaces. After that, we start the water and it sprays through the nozzles to clean all the process equipment inside and also the isolator surfaces. The fluorescent substance helps us to identify hidden spots or dead spots and we know where we have to re-engineer and optimize our system. We have different options to clean the isolator. We can change the nozzle or the position of the nozzle or we can move all the process equipment. Wow, cool! And now the isolator is clean and you can open it for the next batch, correct? Yes, of course. The isolator is clean and safe now. And another advantage of this fully automated system is that it is also repeatable all the times. That's cool. That's very cool. Thank you very much, Christoph. It's very nice to understand that with the robotic it's not just the robots, but all the functions around the robots. Thank you very much, Christoph. You're welcome, Vincent. As you can see, 
Robotics and automatic systems in isolators are covering a lot of topics and technical solutions. And even though robots are taking more space every day, sometimes we may need to investigate if they really are the right actuators for your process. So, if you have queries or needs in this field, it would be a pleasure to discuss it with you on an event next to our new exhibition model. Until then, don't hesitate to simply contact us. We are always happy to look what we can do for you. So, thank you and au revoir.